Hey guys, how are you doing? In today's video, we are going to practice our modeling skills by creating this parametric desk. We will cover some modifiers that aren't used very often, such as cross-section and surface. We will also use boolean to create a new mesh from two different shapes. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here, what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go the lesson. Let's start by creating a plan to add our reference. The download link is in the video description. Let's adjust the position of the reference. We started with a line creating the outline of the top of the table. Now let's create a copy of this line with the shift K. We position this line further in front of the first one. I'm going to move the reference a little bit further away and better position the points matching the reference. In the top view, we adjust the points by creating a sliced curvature in the lines. Let's do the same with the second line. Again, with the shift K, we create a new copy and adjust it following this part of the reference. We are going to align these points at the same height as this line. Let's continue to create another copy and adjusting the new line. Let's create a new line for the bottom of the table. Let's adjust the sides of the lines better so that it doesn't have a very hard corner. Let's align the last line so that it forms the base of the table. I'm aligning the points with the snap tool. Finally, we adjust the curvature of the lines. Now we apply a cross section modifier and then the surface modifier to transform the lines into a 3D mesh. We adjust the mesh normal and decrease the threshold. Then we set the step value to zero. Once that is done, we convert it to editable poly and improve your mesh. Let's add some lines to make the shape more defined. I'm going to insert a new loop with out one and with set flow we adjust it so that it follows the flow of the shape. We also adjust the dip of the model in some parts. Always insert a new loop and adjusting the lines to make the shape more uniform.
When adding edit poly to visualize the general shape of the model, we see that some parts need harder corners. Let's return to the mesh and add some support loops to keeping the shapes hard. Let's align the side edge and make a cut with the cut tool. I'm going to delete this vertices, and with that we have your model base created. Now let's create a line and adjust its thickness according to the reference. The width of the lines should be greater than the general shape of the piece. We adjust its position and hold down Shift K to create a copy of this line. We delete the leftovers and join them all into a single mesh with attach. We convert it to editable poly and use the boolean in the intersect option. This creates a new shape from two meshes. We convert it again and delete this leftover face. Now let's clean this mesh. To do this, we will delete the edges in the center that were left from the boolean operation. Just select the lines and then delete them. I'm going to select all of them and do this process. Parts, we have diagonal lines. Let's do the same with them too. We we'll select the lines and delete them. Once that is done, I'm going to adjust some vertices using Edge Constraint. In the lower part, we'll delete the face that are smaller and have points. We remove some edges that make up the triangular near the point. And adjust some vertices with the target weld. Now we remove the vertices that are not connected to the edges laterally. To do this, we use the vertex clean. We will select all the points and use the vertex clean. Click on clean it. This will automatically remove the loose vertices from the model. We 
We apply a shell modifier to give thickness to our part and check if there are loose vertices. As you can see, there are places where the mesh is incorrect. Let's solve this by applying the vertex screen again. This time, we use a hydrate value so that it's more precise. We click on clean it and that's it. We return it to the shell modifier and see that the mesh is working correctly now. I'm going to leave the value at 0.2 and click this option so that it selects the faces inside the object. Add an edit poly and increase the thickness a little. Now we'll select some face in the corner so that they sever our support for the tabletop. First, we are going to align these vertices so that they match to the other parts. We are going to drag this face a little and going to the same on the other side of the part. Once again, we will select the face of the last three parts and extrude the backwards. I'm going to align this face on the Z-axis and we are going to do the same on the other side. We align them with the snap so that they are the same size. Finally, we will create the top of the desk. I will use a box and create the top. Adjust the thickness and position it correctly. We add loops in the middle to create the curvature of the front of the top so that it fits better with the table. Finally, we will create a central piece to support the tabletop. Very simple. With a single line, we adjust its size and thickness. We will align the top with the top using the snap. Holding down Shift K, we will create a copy of this piece. With the attach, we join all the pieces, apply a chamfer and the weighted normals. I will change the color of the desk to create a contrast in the two pieces and we will also apply a chamfer to this piece. Here, I see that there are edges that need to be correctly. We will just select them and apply a collapse. We return to the chamfer and apply a very volume just to around the corner of this piece. Here, we see that the chamfer is applying correctly in some areas. To solve this, we go to Filter by and select it on Smoothed Edge options. With this option enabled, the chamfer will only be applied on the edge of this piece. We apply a weight normal and that's it, the model is finished. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. I hope you enjoy the contents, see you next time, bye!